Welcome to Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff today. Today's recipe is fresh potatoes and carrot casserole. Stay tuned. Why United Way? Because 99 cents of every dollar donated to United Way of West Georgia stays right here to help your neighbors. Yes, 99 cents. United Way makes every penny count. You can count on United Way, and United Way of West Georgia is counting on you. Please give today. Welcome to Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff today. Today's recipe will be a fresh potato and carrot casserole. Something that um, I think is a little unique. A side item you can take to a small events such as a church potluck or family reunion, stuff like that. Um, the, all the ingredients I got, you wouldn't believe, some of them. Uh, potatoes, fresh, fresh potatoes fresh sliced carrots, I have some milk, I have some flour, dry rosemary, black pepper, salt, and I also have some fr fresh ground on the dry thyme. Even I get tied up with talking sometimes. <laughs> Should have had a glass of water before I got started. Uh, also, the recipe calls for cornflakes to go on top of it. And um, those are some of the things that you can use for a topping. Uh, I have here some water. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my water so I can get my potatoes and all going. So my potatoes and carrot. I'm gonna cook them, just blanch them a little bit. And the product calls for it to be put into a casserole dish uh, I don't have a casserole dish, but this is the next closest thing. I'm going to place my potatoes and my carrots in here, right along with the sauce I'm going to make, uh, using margarine, um, water, margarine, milk, flour, and um, the potatoes, and all the spices that's here. Uh, we're going to put that together today, and I'll show you the finished product soon. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to heat up my margarine, which I have here. I uh, let it set out at room temperature and got a little soft there. And then I'm going to take it and put it in this, this big old bowl I got over here. And I'll show you the ingredients as I go along. Uh, I think somebody said something about my hat earlier today. So I look good in it. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Let me put my gloves on, get a pair of gloves on, because, you know, these days you have to be careful. You don't want to spread germs and get anyone sick. Uh, some of you may have heard on the news talking about these cruise ships. Make me think twice about going on a cruise ship. Uh, some of the people's on there getting sick. And they, you're stuck in one spot and you're passing it around to the next person. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't you believe? Maybe I need to swap sides with my water. All right. Take my carrots. Put them in there, like so. Let them come up to temperature. The reason I put the carrots in there first, because the carrots are harder than the uh, potatoes. And you always want to start with the hard vegetables first when you're making something, uh, so they can tenderize. And then um, after these come to a good boil, then I put the potatoes in there. 
because uh, the potatoes are already sliced and they're sliced thin, as you guys can see, almost like you're making a scallop potatoes. And this recipe is similar to a scallop potato recipe, uh, except for you adding carrot and different other spices to it. Uh, of course, I always say make it your own, and I like to change things up. I mean, people give you recipes, you can deviate away from it a little bit and make it your own. Uh, as you can see, I got one thing I didn't talk about with bacon. I'm gonna use bacon as a topping for flavor with this uh, recipe um, and stuff. Wow, my water taking a lot longer than I anticipated. Maybe I need to put something on top of it. I'm gonna put a bowl on top of it. I, I don't have a lid that'll fit it, so I do the next best thing, put a bowl and catch that heat. Yep, make it out of a double broiler. Um, and then once I, once that come to a boil and cook, then I add my milk to the uh, product and, and margarine to it also and make this sauce. But I know time is an essence when it comes to making a recipe. Uh, what I have done, I already cooked the carrots a little bit just to let people know that's one thing you can do. This is something you can make a day in advance or, or so. And I also did the same thing with the potatoes. So it shouldn't take long. And, and then I'm gonna drain the water off the potatoes. I'm gonna drain the water off the potatoes and then I add my margarine here to the saucepan and all my spices to make the sauce for the potatoes and the carrots for the souf for the uh, casserole, almost said souffle. But I'm making a casserole today. Let me stir it up a little bit with my spatula. Get these guys all mixed up so all they can marinate together a little bit. And like I said, once it comes to a good boil, and then I take This here, this is what I use here at Vernon Woods, a strainer. There's a ball cap strainer, they call them. One of the, not one of these type of caps, but I would drain the water off into here and uh, put my potatoes in this, this bowl here and take my spatula and mix it. And while it's setting, while that's setting, then I make my sauce. My sauce will be already hot my potatoes will be hot, and it takes less bake time on the product. Um, that way, what normally takes 25 minutes may take 15 minutes, because all your product is cooked and all, all your product is hot. So you can mix it all together there. All right. I hope everybody can hear it just a little bit when I put the lid on. You can hear it simmering just a little bit. You have to listen real good. <laughs> All right. You know how I talk about adding the uh, dry herbs and all that to the margarine and stuff? That's what we're gonna do today. The first thing I'm gonna add is the rosemary. So you're gonna smell, if you got a good smell, you're gonna smell that rosemary that come out of the product. All right. And I think that should be good enough for the ball. And I'm going to drain this right quick. Now, I hate washing dishes at home. <laughs> I really do. Thank God I got kids <laughs> that can do that for me sometimes. But you know, it, it, it builds quality time in the kitchen also. I'll take a little bit of margarine. Put them in a saucepan. Let it, let it melt a little bit. This is to uh, make the sauce for the uh, potatoes. 
we got that sizzle that some people don't air, but I'm out in the community. I didn't hear your sizzle. <laughs> I didn't think that was important, but obviously it's important to some people. The rosemary, add it to the product. And you can add as much as you want. If you like a lot of rosemary, you can add much as you like, but you know, you don't want rosemary to overpower the dish. You want to be able to taste the carrots and the uh, potatoes. All right, I hope y'all can see that. Can y'all smell that? Mm -hmm. It may smell burnt to you right about now. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. All right, it may smell a little burnt to you. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna add the salt. And now the second most important ingredient, flour. And what that doing is say, I'm making a brown herb roux. Mm. And people in New Orleans and Louisiana and those areas there, they make roux for almost everything. And as you can see, I don't know if our viewers out there, you guys can see that. Can you see that from here? And it's brown. It turned a little brown there. Yep. And now I'm going to add my milk to it. Got a little sizzle there. <laughs> this is what some people would call, you making a, you making a gravy. Well, it's still a sauce, so gravy is a sauce too. And if I don't watch it, and I'm using a, what, what we call in the kitchen, a piano whisk, but most people use a spoon or whatever. But these here work magic f for a person like me, because I don't want lumps in it. So it, it helps prevent having all lumps all in the uh, product. <laughs> now, like I was mentioning earlier, you know, this is ground, so I'll put just a tad bit of that in there. And like I was mentioning earlier, I put the potatoes and carrots in this bowl, and once this product it get thickened and tighten up there, I would put it in here with this. I'm going to walk around and show you guys this product because some of you are going to say it, it, it looked like gravy, but it's a sauce. Can you see that, Miss? Yeah, you see it? Mm, yeah. You see it? <coughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can see that. The rosemary in there. And you saw how dark it was earlier? Mm -hmm. That no turn to a beige brown white color. And all that flavor. You may notice something I did not use was a stock or a broth. Did not use that in this product because uh, really didn't need it. All the flavor, you want the flavor to come from your carrots and your potatoes. That's why it's got a fresh uh, potato and carrot casserole because you want to actually taste it. So many people cover their food up and they don't get a chance to taste the food. Like I go to a lot of restaurants and one thing that I see a lot of people do is they cover their salad up with dressing. You can't really taste the salad. Yeah, you want to be able to taste it. And in here, you want to be able to taste the potatoes. And pouring it 
over this and you may say, well, that's not enough product for this or liquid. It doesn't look like it, but in reality, it is. Now, sat there, sat there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, that margarine I was telling you about earlier that I simmer just a little bit, I'm going to put this in here for flavor. All the other seasonings right there in this margarine should be plenty for this product. Let me cut this off. I don't want no sprinkler to go off. <laughs> no, that's the last thing I need. Right. We don't want nobody to take a shower while I'm doing the show. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is the product, what it looked like before. As you can see, I'm going to come around here one more time so you guys can see this. Can y'all see that? Hey. You see that? That'll look good, huh? You see it? You see that? I have the impression that you might layer it down. Uh, no. Uh, that then it'd become a scallop. Yeah. yeah. Can y'all, you see that? It's great. Yeah. Yeah. You can see that rosemary. You can serve it hot or cold, whatever flavor you like. If you want to serve it as a salad, you can serve it as a salad. But I would suggest you use a mayonnaise base for your sauce mm -hmm. if you decide to do it as a salad. I see. Mm -hmm. Because this is a cream sauce here, and there's a difference there. You don't want nobody to be setting up sick. Mm -hmm. um, when I come back, we're going to put together the product and uh, so people out there can see it. It smells wonderful. And uh, me personally, I want to, if I was in the kitchen, I would. <laughs> but I can't do that. And at your home, you would do that. You would, you would take one and taste it. But the uh, rosemary and um, peppers and, I mean, the rosemary, salt, pepper, all that. And when I tried it back in the kitchen, I was like, oh. Okay, that's pretty good. I never thought carrots and rosemary. I wouldn't have, me personally, I wouldn't have thought that. But bacon and that. All right, like I said, when we get back, we'll put one together and I'll show you the product. We'll be right back. Why United Way? Because in some way, everyone in our community is touched by your donation to United Way of West Georgia. Yes, everyone. United Way helps 25 local agencies touch thousands of lives, even yours. To cause so many good things to happen, these organizations must have volunteers. Fortunately, more than 2,300 local volunteers are now giving time to the 25 local organizations that United Way of West Georgia helps support. Yes, more than 2,300 volunteers. But more are needed. Please volunteer your time, as well as your financial support. You'll be astonished at what you'll receive in return. Welcome back to Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we are doing a fresh potato and carrot casserole. Uh, from the magic of TV, uh, I have two of them prepared already, but like I was mentioning before I left, I'm gonna mix one together and, and top it off in this pan here. And then I'm gonna let the audience, and I'm gonna taste some myself. Uh, but I have to start eating stuff on, on air. All right, and again, these are, and if you feel your potatoes have gotten all your sauce out of it, then you can always add just a little bit more dairy to it, sour cream, milk, 
either one to it. And as you can see, I just spread it out with my spatula here in my, in my pan. And I would bake this off in the oven for 25 minutes. And this is the cornflake topping that I'm gonna use to top it off. And again, I bake it off for about 25 minutes, 350 degrees, but you can also slow that down by cooking it at 325 for just a little bit longer, maybe 30 minutes, all right? But as I mentioned earlier in the show, this is pre-cooked and it shouldn't take no more than 15 minutes because I pre-cooked it. I didn't do it all raw from a raw stage. And this is what the finished product looked like. And like I said, you can do it. At, use this as a church event, family reunion. Uh, you can pre-make it and bake it off. You can make it the day before and put it in the cooler and cover it up. You just add your topping as it come out of the oven. All right. So that'll make that a lot easier. Okay, and this is the one I, I put with bacon. I made it kind of my own, adding bacon to it. Some people said bacon go with everything, including ice cream. And I, don't, I, I can't foresee myself eating ice cream and bacon. No. Well, I'm going to go ahead and try one. I'm going to try the first one here. This is the one that followed by the recipe. And it's a... Product. You can see the potatoes. I'm gonna get some of these good old carrots in there. Got those auburn colors. Yes. <laughs> the auburn tigers. Oh, where are you go? Make some Yep. <coughs> yep. Mm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I must say myself. Not saying it because I cooked it. But yeah, if you're starting out cooking, a young person starting out cooking, this is something you could do. Real easy. Um, college students, it's something you can do as a college student. And if you tired of cooking, period, and somebody invites you to someone, this is something you can do. Let me try the other one with bacon in it, because I like bacon. You ever see the commercial with the dog on there, bacon, bacon, bacon? <laughs> that would be me, bacon, bacon, bacon. This is my spoon. Use my spoon. Okay. Change the flavor. <laughs> Making you hungry? Well, let me just put this down and prepare some for you and let you taste it so other people can see what I'm tasting and they can get that, that same grin that I got on my face. <laughs> no, that's not fair. It's not fair at all. So I'm going to, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve of you. Let me give you a little bit of each one. Why United Way? Because United Way of West Georgia helps support 25 local organizations. Organizations that make life better for all of us. Yes, 25. There's no easier way to help so many of your neighbors through a single donation. When you give to United Way of West Georgia, you help a lot.
Okay. Uh, that's good. You know, I always, it always, you can always tell when it's good when the room is quiet and people yeah. start eating. No conversation. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and, and when you go out to eat nowadays, everybody got their cell phone texting and emailing and. Not talking. Right, right. But I'm glad everybody enjoyed everything. And uh, another good recipe. Go get your son. Yep. All right. Uh, I think that's it for today's show. Another great recipe that's healthy for you. Um, it's, it's simple and it gives you your calcium and your vegetables and your vitamins, all those things there in one dish. All right, we'll talk to you next time. This is Bobby McClellan with the City of Grange Garage and I'm here to talk to you about another winter car care tip for your vehicle. One very important thing you need to check is all your vehicle's fluids. There are a few fluids you need to check which is your engine oil, your transmission fluid, your power steering fluid, and your brake fluid, and your washer fluid. These are all very simple things to check and it's very important to keep them where you need to be in your vehicle. First thing I want to talk to you about is your power steering fluid, which on my vehicle is right here. On your power steering fluid reservoir, there's going to be a maximum and a minimum level, and some of them have a dipstick. It's very important to keep it within the proper levels or you'll have a problem steering. Another thing you need to check is your engine brake fluid, which is here. It also has a maximum and minimum level, usually a see-through glass, very easy to check. You also need to check your oil and your transmission fluid, which both have a dipstick, which on my vehicle are here and here. Easy to check. The engine oil you check with the vehicle off and it cool. The transmission fluid you need to check with the vehicle running and the engine warm. That way the levels are correct. Another thing you need to look for is your windshield washer fluid, which is on my vehicle here. And a good thing you need to put in it would be windshield washer fluid with de-icer. The de-icer helps during winter because it helps to keep, it helps to actually clean the windshield off if it gets frosted over during the winter. And also, of course, you need to check your windshield wipers, which I have one here. Windshield wipers are very easy to check. You just need to make sure they do not streak on your windshield and check to make sure the rubber is clean and clear of any debris. This is just another simple car care tip from the City of LaGrange. These are just general care tips for your vehicle. Please refer to your owner's manual for any vehicle specifications. Hi, I'm Captain Dennis Knight with the Troop County Fire Department here with a few thunderstorm safety tips. If you can hear thunder, you're close enough to a storm to be struck by lightning. Last year in Georgia, there were more lightning related fatalities than any other state. It's very important that we take thunderstorms seriously. When a thunderstorm approaches, you need to take shelter immediately in a sturdy building. Avoid using corded phones and electrical appliances. For more information on thunderstorm safety, please visit ready.ga.gov. LaGrange Commercial Sanitation Service has been serving West Georgia and East Alabama with quality services for over 12 years. With LaGrange Commercial Sanitation, you can count on competitive rates, no long-term contracts, and the convenience of combined billing. LaGrange Commercial Sanitation offers flexible service that ensures your business needs will be met seven days a week. LaGrange Commercial Sanitation, dependable, on-time services at low rates. It's a smart move.